You can produce hit songs using AI with no prior experience. Songs that sound like this. Just on my boots, roads that never end. And this. And this. Laptop moment, free is it? This is a complete tutorial about Suno version 4.5, so you can learn how to create these kinds of songs. In your web browser, head to suno.com and create an account. Once logged in, head over to the Create tab. There are two ways to create a song. I'll show you the simple method first, and Custom Mode, which is a place where you can add your own lyrics, and I'll show that a little later in the video. In the prompt box, you can write in what you want the song to be about. Suno recommends you create your song prompt in a way that describes the style of music and the topic that you want. For this example, I've used light hip hop song about a laptop nomad. Clicking the dice icon on the left gives you the ability to cycle through pre-made prompts. The gear icon on the top left not only allows you to change the song model, but also the different lyric models as well. If you want to make a song as an instrumental only, simply toggle the instrumental button. When ready, click Create. Suno will automatically create a title, but this can be changed at any time. I'll show you how to edit songs a little later. Let's hear how Suno handle this one. Pack my bag with wires and dreams Roaming streets and glowing screens Coffee shop, my new address Wi-Fi strong, no need for rest City lights, they guide my route Headphones on, I drown the doubt Typing lines like a midnight poet On the grind and they don't know it I'm a laptop nomad, free as air Roaming places everywhere Battery full, my heart and sink Chasing life in every blink Cafes buzz while ideas bloom Tiny desk becomes my room Clouds hold all my hopes and files Every keystroke worth the miles Planes and trains my offices To create a custom song, click on the Custom tab. Let's start with lyrics. There's a few ways to go about this. The auto option provides the ability to describe a general theme for your lyrics and Suno will do the rest. You can put that right there in the prompt box. Clicking full song, you can add your prompt here and again, choose between different song models. If you click write lyrics, Suno will generate two versions of the lyrics. Just select the one that you want and it'll be plugged into the lyrics box. In the Write Lyrics area, this is where you can also copy and paste in your own custom lyrics that you've written yourself. You can click the By Line button if you want to have a larger canvas and make edits to the lyrics if you need to. Just keep in mind if you're writing custom lyrics yourself, Suno recommends that you structure your song using meta tags. This will ensure the platform understands how to structure your song properly. You can even see in the example that Suno have made up, it's clearly using a verse meta tag, a chorus meta tag, a verse two meta tag, and so on. Style description is where you'll write in your style of music. There's some predefined options that you can select from, and there's a reroll toggle if you want to reroll for new genres. In version 4.5, you can be much more descriptive, and there's this little creative boost button on the right which acts as a prompt enhancer. But it, you can't use it until you start writing something. So I've written my style description. I'm gonna click on the creative boost button, give it a second, and now the prompt is turned into something that's really descriptive and useful. This isn't mandatory for song creation, but it definitely helps if you wanna to continue to get expansive. And of course, if you don't like some of the things that have been written by Suno, you can of course just delete or make edits and update as needed. Exclude styles acts as a negative prompt and tell Suno what you don't want to appear in the song. So for this example, to ensure that there's no female vocal in the song creation, I'm gonna write in female vocals. 
Personas gives the ability to capture the essence of a song you've created, such as the vocals, the energy, and the atmosphere, so it can be applied to new songs you create in the future. I will demonstrate Personas later in the video. Under More Options, this is where you can change the song title before Suno creates the song, or you can add a song to a workspace. Workspaces function like separate folders, so you can create a batch of songs and make them very easy to find in a separate folder. To create a workspace, up at the top, you'll see My Workspace. Click the arrow, click New Workspace, name it what you want, click Create Workspace. Now within custom mode for song creation, you can now toggle and specify where you want the song to go. If you want to save your prompt details, so they can be reused in the future, click on Save Prompt. And if you want to find your saved prompts later on, click on Prompts and you'll see your prompt there. You can also add your own audio clips and create songs out of them, which is something that I'll also show a little bit later on. And if you want to clear everything and start all over again, all you have to do is click the Clear All button. Suno will start the canvas brand new and you can start all over again. I've gone back, I've used the Enhanced Prompt to create a rock song. Let's see how this turned out. To edit a song name after your song has been created, located in your library, click on the song title, click on the title again, and then you can now update the name to whatever you want it to be. If you hit enter, you will get a pop-up box from Suno indicating that the change has been updated successfully. And then once you head back to your library, the name will be updated. To completely edit and customize songs, click the edit button. You'll be brought to a new screen. Up at the top, clicking on the replace section provides you with the ability to change certain lyrics in the song. There's a white box at the bottom, and as you move some of the vertical cursors around, you'll notice on the left, Suno will either highlight or gray out the area where you're going to be making the change. So for in this example, if I wanted to make the change to the verse and the chorus, everything is highlighted. I do see that I'm missing the last couple of words in the chorus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly adjust one of the vertical bars, and now it's completely highlighted. You can delete lyrics, you can make changes to words, and as you make these changes, you'll see the edits highlighted in red. You can also make changes to the style, and you can also update the exclude styles function if you want to exclude more elements of the song. Once you're ready, click generate replacements, and then click confirm and generate. Suno will generate two different versions that you can then listen to and decide whether or not you accept the changes and you want to move forward. If you do, click on this version that you want to replace, and then when you're satisfied, click Apply Replacement. The thing to keep in mind is when it completes the replacement, it brings you back to the same screen. But if you go back to your library, the full song with the Replace section will be there. Back in Edit Mode, to extend a song, click the Extend button. You'll have one vertical bar where you can drag it to place it specifically where you want the song to start extending from. When you're ready, click Generate Extensions. Just like Replace Section, you get two options. Pick the one you like, and then click Apply Extensions. Pseudo 4.5 can extend songs up to eight minutes. Cropping Songs provides you with the ability to select a section of a song you want to keep and build off of. 
This is useful if you only like part of a song and you don't want to keep the rest. Much like the other two edit features, just drag the vertical bars to the part in the song that you want to keep and click the crop button. The remove section provides you with the ability to remove portions of a song you don't like. For example, let's say the start of the song goes on too long before the singing kicks in. Much like cropping, select the portion that you want to remove and then click the remove button. With fade out, this gives you the ability to select where you want the end of the song to start fading out from. Just take the vertical cursor, move it to where you need it to go, and then click the fade out button. Regarding personas, but let me show you how to do that. Find the song in your library that you really like and you want to capture the essence of. Click the three dots, hover over create, and then click make persona. It'll show you what song it's basing it off of. You can then name it. You can upload your own photo or have Suno generate a photo based off of a description that you put in. You can add a description and you can toggle whether you want personas to be public so other Suno creators can use it too. For now, this is for Pro and Premiere. When you're ready, click Save. Now when you're creating your next song, within custom mode, you can click on Personas, and I've got a list here of ones I've already created. Select the one that you want, and it'll be applied to the song creation process. Suno can remaster songs that you've created with older versions and upscale them to the latest models. Here's a sample of a song that I created with Suno's older model, version 3.5. To remix the song, click the three dots, hover over create, and then select the latest remaster model, which is 4.5. Here's the remastered version. Suno allows you to download song stems, which breaks down the completed audio track into individual elements. It will separate the vocals and the instrumental into individual files so you can export them to be used in the editing platform of your choice. To get song stems, click the three dots, hover over create, and click get stems. Suno will add them to your library with a stem identifier. To download them, click the three dots, and hover over download and then select the format of your choice. But if you're not interested in stems, you can still download a whole song just by going back to the original track and following the same download steps. To create a cover song, find the song in the library that you want to create a cover of, click the three dots, hover over create, and then click on cover song. Cover songs let you reimagine songs by keeping the melody and adding it to a different style. With Suno 4.5, you can combine covers and personas together for interesting combinations. I'm gonna create a cover of the Rap Gladiator song I played earlier. It automatically puts you into custom mode when you select. In the style description, I'm gonna add a funk pop vibe, use the creative boost, and I'm gonna add the progressive rock vibe persona. Let's see how this turned out. <laughs>
to roam Where the sands of fate are thrown I stand tall, a gladiator bold In the arena where legends unfold With sword in hand and armor tight To upload your own audio files and use them to create songs, you could click the plus sign and do it that way, but you can also just click the audio button. You can select the audio file from your computer or record your voice real time. Just keep in mind the maximum amount of uploaded audio or live recording is 120 seconds. I've got this instrumental of a dance song, take a listen. You'll be asked if you want to trim your audio, click Save Trimmed Audio. Suno will add the audio clip to your library so you can start using it right away. You can either do an extension or do a cover song. I'm going to create a cover. This time I'll exclude male vocals. I'll leave the style description blank. That's just my personal choice. And here's the final version of the song with the vocals added. Whether you are new to AI song creation or you're an expert and want to significantly enhance your AI song creating skills beyond what was shared in this video, I posted a link to an AI song creation system which will help you improve your song creating skills tenfold. This guide goes beyond the scope of what I share on YouTube. Click the link below posted in the video description.